Good morning, everyone. So, today's day 19. It rained a little bit this morning, and I actually got busy editing, so I didn't get to go walk this morning like I wanted to. So yeah, Monday morning, start of a new week. It's gonna be a good week. The sky is beautiful this morning. I've done like four different time lapses since I've been up. It's like right now, I'm probably in the middle of my time lapse. Didn't even realize it. But yeah, so, it's gonna be a good day. Let's get the day started. Morning, B. Doing pretty good. So, I know this kind of looks strange. What I'm actually doing, I'm trying to figure out which is a better camera. Now, this camera is super heavy. I mean, it is not worth, no, I mean, I get just as good as quality. I can already tell you, the pictures are almost identical. And this one's way lighter. This one's super heavy. Quality is not gonna be worth the, the amount of hassle. And I already tell you, the, the 70D, mm -mm. I mean, it's huge, it's big, it's bulky, and it's in the way all the time. I have my little camera already. So, I don't see what the advantage is, it's like maybe the optics. I'm wondering how this is gonna look. I have no idea. How am I put this in the vlog so it doesn't look completely weird and creepy? I guess I could have held it with one hand. Hi, day 19, Daily Bible Verse. Today we're looking at Proverbs 4.23. It's a very short passage. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flows the spring of life. Now, when I read this verse, there's a couple things that pop into my mind that what it means to me. And when it says that we are to guard our hearts, some think it is we are to protect ourselves from heartache, from hurt, from people talking bad about us, uh, things of that nature. Me personally, I think this verse is actually saying that we are to guard our hearts against the evils of the world. Not only that, but we need to guard our heart against the impulses that our flesh wants to partake in. The wickedness of the world and the things that the flesh wants to do is we can't let our hearts be drawn into that. We are all subject to this. Uh, we are all bombarded uh, with this on a daily basis. TV, internet, wherever you go, there are, there's something that is trying to force itself onto us. Just the way of the world is trying to get into us and trying to destroy us and try to suck us into that, that evil. When we're born again, our souls are cleansed. And if we're subject to that wickedness of the world, it's hard to deal with that. It's, it's, it's a struggle for us. There's times we're going to fall. And we need to remember that we have to flush it out with the Word. We have to cleanse ourselves and get away from that evil. And only being in the Word, only God's Word can do that. Jesus will cleanse us and He will forgive us. It is very important that we're in the Word and that we're praying in order to get our bodies cleansed and our minds cleansed of that. It's overwhelming at times. We just have to stop. We have to pray. We have to ask God to come to our hearts and protect us. But at the same time, we need to not expose ourselves to those things, to limit our contact with those with those things, the evil and the wickedness of the world. So the moral of this story is, is that we need to be guarding our hearts. We need to be protecting ourselves from our impulses as well as the outside impulses that are coming to affect us. We need to be weary of them, we need to be knowledge of them and know that they're there, but we need to be ready for them and be ready to combat them. And the only way we can combat them is having knowledge of the Word in us, as long as, along with your faith with, in Jesus. So as always, remember, be kind, don't be mean, and love one another. Focus. Focus. Done now. Back to work. Right. Keep your heart and its state. 